It's the morning after an ICP concert. You feel refreshed because you got the nighttime bathing done to get out of your sticky situation. And everything still smells like diet root beer. Hi, I'm Mike Sorgat's at Sorgat. Basic Sorgonomics at Sorgatron on the Twitters, ready to talk with you. And I said, I want to do a little bit different of one today, as I typically do when I have an experience like I've had uh, last night. And uh, I was at Mr. Small's, Mr. Small's Theater, Mr. Small's Fun House. What are they calling it these days? It's a, uh, it's Mr. Small's Complex, it seems, these days. Holy crap. I apparently have not been there for several, several years uh, that I recall, I think the last time I was there was for an, uh, had been a Cottonmouth Kings show, is the last thing in my head, maybe twisted, I don't know, and I was amazed at what they've done with this place, I've, I love what you've done with the place, uh, uh, and of course it was for the Insane Clown Posse last night, as is the one group where if they're coming to town, I'm going. And I've made a determination, as we talked about on this show and its previous iteration, uh, uh, previously, what? But um, and for those who don't know, I am a juggalo. I uh, actually ran a uh, site called WesternBAJugglos.com for about nine years, and uh, that was actually my first uh, foray into communities. That that I use a lot of uh, what I learned there for what you know what happens. Uh, with a lot, of, it informs a lot of what I do today with social media, podcasting, etc., and all that that kind of thing. And uh, it was really cool to go. It was, uh, you know, definitely a, a little. I felt like a little bit of a light crowd, uh, or I don't know if it's the way the place was laid out. It just didn't feel like it was as uh, uh, crazy and deep of of insane people as it usually is. But uh, hey, you know, I got to uh, get pretty close, and that's that's all right, and without as much of an issue. I got to get absolutely soaked, absolutely soaked. Uh, it was a, a pretty fun, and it's 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 a, it's a great experience. For those who don't know, are uninformed about the Insane Clown Posse, they are a, uh, they are a, I guess, horrorcore rap group, you can think. Sometimes they're, they're labeled as rap metal uh, of some some sort. Uh, they've been around for a good while, uh, since, since the 90s, basically. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, um, and I'm really into it. Uh, there's, you know, very, whereas the, uh, the, the lyrics are very, uh, about, uh, violent things. They're still just a fun group. It's all kind of tongue in cheek. They're freaking painted up like clowns. How can you take that seriously? And, uh, but there's a lot of really good messages in there that, uh, obviously, you know, thousands of people go to the gathering every year and are completely down with it, you know? As I've talked about on here as well, but uh, I had a few notations for last night. You know, again, great show. Pod was opening for them. I really kind of rolled in a little late. I just uh, didn't feel like sitting through all the all the uh, all the uh, all the the opening bands. It just were. I looked at the list. I just there are a ton of them, and I felt bad because I actually kind of know the group that was uh, as was the first opener. <laughs> but uh, it sounds like they did good. They said they sold a lot of tickets coming into the place. Uh, bringing a lot of people to the show, so that was that was really cool to see. So, uh, uh, shout out to legal legally insane out here in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, go go look them up if you want to see what they're about. But uh, other than that, no, it was a lot of fun. Uh, otherwise, so um, um, like I said, Mister Smalls really impressed me because uh, I again I haven't been here for years. It looks like they built out a lot. Like any complaint I had about Mister Smalls was uh kind of kind of like taken care of through whatever construction they did there's this whole extra area where you go upstairs and there's like a food bar a food bar and there was like a smoking room which was really funny because i went up after pod and like everybody was like huddled into the smoking room <laughs> like it was just the biggest cigarette smoke out i've ever seen and then there was like a window there and it was just like wow juggle was under under glass uh, so, but no, that was good. It, it, it also caught up with, uh, uh, Facade and his girl who was at her first Insane Clown Posse show. So, uh, um, she seemed to, uh, get a kick out of it. Uh, though I said she, she needed to get up there and get soaked, but alas, did not happen. Um, I had, and there's also like, they have a new balcony and everything too, that, you know, they built a balcony, uh, out from what was already there. And if you're not familiar, Mr. Smalls is, uh, is a, is a, is a converted church. And it's got all this stuff in the back. I've been I've been backstage a, a time or two where uh, 
they basically have a house that the uh, the bands basically have a run out. And considering how many people open, that's probably really good for them. Um, and with the, like a kitchen and all these areas, I guess they removed the panel, the, the piano. Somebody was telling me, uh, the guy from the opener. Um, and and I think they have this whole other area on top of it. It's a it's a music studio. It's it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. And uh, they got a really cool thing going on. It's good to see that's kind of growing. And I didn't know this. Apparently, Millvale's coming back around. Uh, through some de- development and everything, so it's really awesome to see. Uh, so, but I, I, I did take some uh, notes for last night because maybe you guys, guys saw a tweet storm for me at about one in the morning as I'm offloading all the thoughts I was having because I don't take the phone. In. I'm very much like I detach everything, and uh, uh, the phone stays in the car, the glasses stay in the car because uh, I'm going to be in there. You don't know if you're going to get kicked in the face. You're going to be soaked with with with, with, with soda. Uh, you know why not? Uh, so. Uh, you know, so some thoughts I had from last night, um, you know, first of all, I love that the security guard is as entertained by some of the antics on stage as the rest of us. Um, I don't know if they were down with, with things or, or not. They were there. They were in there. They were in ponchos, clear ponchos. So you could still see the security on their shirts and they're kind of posted up on the sides, which I thought was very interesting because anytime they, there wasn't crowd surfing really until the very, very end, and then you'd see them just bust a move down to the front stage to to, to grab people, which I, I, I'd imagine got very difficult because there was a lot of, like, blackout in uh, strobe light parts, and it's got to be a little hard to see. Um, I've noticed that having a mustache helps you consume the Vega because uh, it just kind of collects in there, and you just go, and you get it. Um, I don't know. That was just a weird off, off thing that, that I noticed last night. And... Uh, and other than that, you know, I kind of, uh, uh, you know, as you know, I, I kind of go, um, I've talked about on the show, uh, some people that, uh, you know, we've lost over the years here and, uh, and I don't know, it's, uh, it's one of those things where I kind of promise myself never, not to miss these again. Cause there's some people that will not go to these again. And, uh, I found myself thinking a lot last night of, you know, both the people, uh, that can't go again, uh, to these things. And, uh, you know, the people that kind of don't anymore, um, it's not like a slight on anybody. I just got like, you know, oh, you know, I kind of miss that crew, you know, the crew that, that, uh, you know, I go to these things and see like, you know, 10, 15 people I knew. Right. Um, and that was always a cool feeling. And I saw a couple that I did even last night. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely a different crowd. Um, one thing I noticed about the crowd last night, cause I remember I was worried going to the gathering for the first time. I'm just like, man, I'm like, like at the time I was like, I'm 33 years old. I'm going to be like the old head here. And, there's gonna be a bunch of freaking kids here and everything. No, not even, not even close. Not even close. It's a bunch of people. And I noticed this last night. I'm looking around. And I go to facade. I'm like, man, like all the people here are were basically here ten years ago. When I'm looking around, <laughs> and I thought that was interesting. It's not, I, I don't know if they just ICP is not getting the kids or something like that anymore, um, which is probably not good for them. But still, as long as like that kind of diehard crew still comes out for them, that that's that's great. I mean, I think they're kind of becoming a lower skill kiss at this point. Yeah, make those comparisons, right? And, and not just because of the face paint, because they have this whole mystique about them and everything, and they're still doing it. And they come out and do their show, and they have theatrics. Just like Kiss, you know, they just didn't really have that era where they took the face paint off. And I hope they don't. They kind of joked about that one year. Like it was an April Fool's joke where they said, hey, we're going to take the face point paint off. We're going to do albums under our real names and uh, we're going to tour about each tour with them, like do solo albums and tour with them. And uh, it was just a complete freaking joke. And I thought that was freaking hilarious. So, hey, you know, uh, whatever. Uh, but you know, it was uh, it was really cool. Also, Mr. Smalls and their props to uh, Mr. Smalls and the Port Authority of Pittsburgh <laughs> of Elgate County. Um, they, well, first of all, Mr. Smalls was really responsive to stuff on on uh, on on Twitter, social media that I noticed. Um, I saw them interacting with me a little bit, and uh, they also posted. This was a saver. I wish I wish more venues would do this, or maybe I'd find more of them. But they actually put the schedule for the bands tonight. Last night, I'm sorry. Uh, that was big because I knew it was like, okay, if I really want to see POD and ICP, I don't need to come until about 8.30. If I want to make sure I catch so-and-so, I got to make sure I come at this time. Uh, that was a, That's a huge help for peace of mind. You know, It helps you with your waiting. It helps you with everything else. And I, 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 I'm I, definitely going to try to, you know, if I go to more of these things, you know, be like, okay, what's, you know, okay, what's their Facebook? What's the event page? You know, stuff like that. And even a lot of interaction, a lot of them say, hey, guys, show's coming up, you know. 
uh, get your tickets and some, you know, this, this, get an information. Hey, they're at the door. Hey, you can get them online until five o'clock. They're just really on top of things, and, and there's a lot of respect there. Uh, but also, uh, it was fun because I noticed the Port Authority, PGH Transit, Transit is the Twitter, Juggalos and Juggalettes heading to the ICP show tonight. We encourage you to take the two Mount Royal to Mr. Small's whoop whoop hashtag clown love. Uh, hello, Juggalos and the Port Authority. We're glad you're with us. Um, I thought that was really awesome to see that. It was actually, I believe, I think I found it retweeted by Mr. Smalls. And uh, that's just amazing. Um, they are uh, juggalos out there. You never know where. There might be one beside you right now. But we're out there. And we're showing the love. Um, all, all around, great experience. Great to hang with the family. Um, as I've said before, like these are the concerts where I don't get Usually you're in a de defensive posture when you're at a uh, rock show of some sort, I feel. Um, we are looking for the crazy that's going to do something absolutely stupid and endanger your, your well-being. Um, Ozfest comes to mind. And uh, this is the one where I don't. it doesn't matter. you know. And uh, I feel completely safe, the family as it were. And, uh, and, and it's great. It's great. You know, whether it be in a, a Mr. Small's venue or be in a gathering of the Juggalos with 7,000 of these guys, you know, in campsites doing crazy stuff. Um, you're just still, you're okay. Everything's cool. So just some thoughts, a little bit, a little bit of a departure. We'll get back to things. Of course we got, Hey, we got a webinar and a lunch and learn coming up. If you guys are interested, if you want to go check that out, be a part of that, uh, buy your tickets. Uh, through Eventbrite, uh, and we have the links, um, uh, Sorgatron.com, SorgatronMedia.com, and you guys can join us. And I just got a text with a bunch of hot dogs. Thanks you, thank you, emoticons. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Basic Sorgonomics, we out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.